With so many choices available, how can you make your brand stand out? Well, often it's all in the name. Some names repurpose an object, some go the weird or sensational route, and some entrepreneurs just use their own name. But no matter which naming philosophy you use, you've got to make sure it's catchy. Fortunately, a catchy name is not as difficult as you might think, and we've got some scientific data to back it up. So today, we're breaking down some catchy names that do more than just identify. They captivate, resonate, and sometimes even amuse. I'm Jake with Business Name Generator, and let's explore the science of coming up with a catchy business name. Before examining what scientifically makes a name more catchy, it's more important to answer another question first. Why? Why should you invest time and effort into creating a catchy name? After all, you could just name your company after yourself and call it a day. The answer to that question is trust, and there's some scientific data to back that up. A 2023 special report from Edelman's Trust Barometer found that Gen Z is driving a push for brands to become more trustworthy. 79% of their Gen Z respondents answered, it is more important to trust the brands I buy or use today than in the past. And in their 2019 special report on brand trust, 81% of their respondents stated that they needed to trust a brand before they'd even consider purchasing a product. This was pre-pandemic, mind you. But what does a catchy name have to do with trust? Well, it's all about the psychology of branding, a field that's been studied since 1895. And more importantly, emotions. World-renowned neurologist Antonio Damasio in his book Descartes' Air argued that emotion is a necessary ingredient in almost all decisions. And he explained emotions actually shape our preferences as we affix values to any option we consider. And study after study has confirmed this concept. And that emotional trust reflex, it includes your business name as well. And it's a big part of your customer's decision-making process. Let's look at the naming backstory of a global business to illustrate this point. Netflix, Coca-Cola, Amazon. These household names have one thing in common, Simplicity, a quick, punchy sound that echoes in our minds long after we've heard it. Said another way, it's catchy. But did you know that Amazon wasn't the first name that Jeff Bezos chose for his company? Originally, the company was called Cadabra, as in abracadabra, as in magic. But when his lawyer told him that he misheard the word cadaver instead of cadabra when speaking over the phone and reminded him that it was kind of an obscure reference, Bezos went back to the drawing board. He and his wife at the time then registered the names awake.com, browse.com, bookmall.com, and relentless.com. Side note, as of this recording, still, if you type in relentless.com into your browser, it will redirect you to amazon.com, which, as we know, is the name they finally landed on. It's a catchy name that signified the grand scale of his bookstore at the time. Also at the time, website listings were listed alphabetically, so it helped a lot to have a name that started with an A. A positive emotional connection plays a key role in the catchiness of a business name. While Cadabra sounds catchy, it has faults that quickly turn it into a negative connection. How quick? Well, MIT gave us a definitive answer to that question nearly 10 years ago. They released a study showing that the human brain can process an image in as little as 13 milliseconds. I can't even show you how fast that is without some extra editing software. And that's where the beauty of a well thought out name shines. In the blink of an eye, or in the time it takes your brain to register Amazon, you've processed not only an emotion, but perhaps an idea or even a memory. This instant connection is what brands aim for. It's what makes a name sticky. But how do you create a name that sticks and with the emotions you want to convey? Well, let's break it down into a science. Phonetic symbolism is the notion that phonemes, the smallest unit of sound, can convey emotion on its own, apart from their configuration in words. So for a moment, imagine a brand name that just rolls off the tongue, its rhythm and melody harmonizing with the product that it represents. It's not just a name, it's an experience, a promise encapsulated in just a few letters. This is where the science of sound meets the art of persuasion, turning a simple name into something that people not only trust, 
but desire. And research shows that vowels and consonants do carry an inherent symbolic meaning. And they can influence perceptions both positively and negatively. In a recent study, researchers used beer as a reference point. They found that front vowel sounds were preferred over back vowel sounds for a beer described as cool, clean, and crisp tasting. But back vowel sounds were preferred over front vowel sounds for a beer described as rich tasting, mellow, and smooth. And we found an older study supporting that plosives, or consonants that just stop immediately, are excellent for brand recognition, recall, and awareness. So that's G, D, B, T, P, and K sounds. It's all convincing evidence that even simple sounds play a role in a brand's trustworthiness, even if the customer knows nothing else about the brand. And it's up to you to create that perfect combination of sounds that's gonna resonate with your audience, catch their attention, and build their trust. Here's an example of how phonetics played out with one of the biggest companies in the world. Because they legally had to, ESO, which is still common in places that are not the United States, spent millions of dollars to become Exxon around the world. Both names are sticky, but the company chose Exxon because it sounded stronger and more authoritative with the double X's over the double S's. Try it for yourself. Say both names authoritatively. Esso, Exxon, Exxon, Exxon. And those sounds really help to build the rough image of industrialization, oil rigs, and such. It's kind of like when American companies use French names to sound more sophisticated and exotic. The vowels and consonants all carry phonetic symbolism. And that's what you should use with your name to make your message stick with your customers. A catchy business name is more than just a label. It's the first step in telling your brand's story and creating an emotional connection with your target audience. We've covered trust, emotions, and phonetics, but what can you actually do to create that catchy name? Well, here's a checklist. Number one, simplicity is key. Aim for a name that's actually easy to pronounce. Short and sweet usually wins the race. Think about some of the most popular companies in the world. Nike, Hulu, Exxon, Netflix, DuPont, Tesla, they're all simple and easy to pronounce. Number two, be positive. Choose words that evoke positive feelings and associations. This emotional connection will make your brand more memorable. Number three, consider the sound. Use phonetic symbolism to your advantage. Remember those plosives we talked about earlier, the consonants that just stop? Use those for impact on your name. And for vowels, use front vowels for a sense of lightness and precision, and use back vowels for a sense of power and largeness. Number four, be descriptive. If it fits your brand, a name that hints at what you do can be instantly engaging. Just be careful not to box yourself in if you plan to expand your offerings in the future. Number five, play with words. Don't shy away from puns, alliterations, or rhyming schemes. They can make your name more catchy and enjoyable. Fortunately, coming up with a name that fits all these traits isn't as hard as you think. Just use our AI-powered business name generator that comes equipped with loads of helpful tools to narrow your search. Remember, a catchy business name is your first handshake with the world. It's a reflection of your brand's identity, mission, and the promise you want to make to your customers. By applying the science of trust, emotion, and phonetics, you're not just naming a business. You're creating a brand that could become a household name. Remember, every great brand starts with a name. What will yours say about you? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more business insights. Until next time, keep brainstorming and may your business name be as unforgettable as the service you provide. Catch you later.